Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Vandal Savage. He made his first appearance in Green Lantern, Volume 1, Issue Number 10, that was released in December of 1943. His real name is Vandar Adj, but over the millennia, he's gone by various different aliases, including notorious figures such as the Cherry Blossom Killer, Jack the Ripper, and some even claim he's the very first murderer of the Bible, aka Cain. But we do know that he's 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighs 176 pounds, having brown eyes and black hair. Now, over 50,000 years ago, Vandar at the time came in contact with a fragment of a radioactive comet, which endowed him with low-level superhuman strength, speed, agility, durability, and stamina, while greatly increasing his intelligence between moderate and low-level vast intelligence. All of these characteristics are further boosted, and he gains the ability of flight during the periodic returns of the comet that gave him his powers in the first place. Which leads me to his main superhuman ability, which is pure functional immortality. He cannot be killed through any traditional means, and any wounds that he sustains will be healed regardless of their severity, even if it may take a while for him to return to action. Now, Vandal Savage has roamed the Earth since before recorded history. He originally attributed his immortality to various causes, including what he thought was a mystic meteor, blood sacrifice rituals, and even harvesting the organs of some of the thousands of his descendants. Of course, you know he's had countless children. We've now pinned down the fact that his abilities only stem from the comet fragment that he came in contact with, with it being the true source of his power and immortality due to it being an aspect of primordial creation, heralding the return of creation's dark mother, Perpetua. Now, during Vandal's early years within the Golden Age of comics, he would quite often battle against the first Green Lantern, Alan Scott, and many other heroes in the DC Comics universe, such as the Justice Society of America. But after the continuity-altering events of Crisis on Infinite Earths, he would become the prime adversary of the Flash Wally West, before coming out as the arch-nemesis of the powerful young hero, Damage, and the long-lived Resurrection Man, and even the time-traveling hero, Rip Hunter. This immortal threat has haunted all of history, with him being credited with direct involvement with some of history's most notorious events, such as the rise and fall of the Roman Empire, sparking various empires and wars in a bid to rule the Earth. He viewed the rise of superheroes as an obstacle in his way, and would found and join various supervillain teams over the years, such as the Demon Knights and even reluctantly the Justice League United. However, all the while, he's just been biding his time for the return of his comet to Earth, savoring the immense rush of power and all the accomplishments he can achieve when this happens. It's nothing for him to do battle against the legendary mystic warrior Pandora and even the Dark Knight Batman, which he dueled alongside of a whole host of heroes across time and space in an attempt to recover a mysterious Fabergé egg which contained a white lantern power ring before his latest Injustice game lost a war against Lex Luthor's Legion of Doom for possession of the comet, which we now know is actually a reality-bending artifact known as the Totality. And although he was reportedly beaten to death, he's supposedly died several times, yet he always has a knack for coming back. And with all the wealth, resources, and connections he's made over the generations, it's easy to see why Vandal can sometimes sit back and take comfort in knowing that he'll outlast all of his mortal rivals. Now, for his powers and abilities, and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Vandal Savage a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.